Here's an episode of why is there a radial drill press that weighs over 6,000 pounds in my driveway? I don't know. I'll try to explain. With this radial drill press, uh, got this little chuck here. And um, I want to talk about the special constructions, uh, construction of this uh, Morris More Speed drill press and what what caught my interest in this machine um, <clears throat> it um, was sitting in the junkyard with the with the brown and sharp mill that I fixed up a eh, little picture of it or so a minute earlier video but this uh, I started researching I saw this thing in there then I started looking on the internet and I go well what is that drill press I never heard of a Morris more speed but they were real famous in drill presses up to uh, World War II um, Pratt & Whitney, Niles Beaumont, Pond purchased it then it, it just disappeared in the 50s um, the uh, oh, they got an airplane over there let's see we um, this drill press has this, uh, this is a Carlton tilt table. And the, the table's newer than the drill press. This drill press is about 1942 or something like that from the serial numbers. And uh, it, it's identical, this drill press is identical to the one on the uh, battleship New Jersey. And, you know, in the Navy, the, my experience uh, with Navy machinists is they're pretty dang good. I mean, they're out there at sea, and if they have to, they'll make the nuts and bolts for something. They'll, they'll make anything. And uh, this drill press, see if we can see this. Kind of shady and kind of weird here. But the way the spindle's constructed, I might have to get over here. And you see up here, how this turns here and this is the spindle uh, or the quill and it's much like a bridge port there's a rack back here and uh, the bearings are here just like you know like a bridge port uh, mill spindle and uh, most drill presses um, have like a dual tempkin bearings big heavy precision ones up here and the main, the main spindle bearings, see if I can hold that maybe better. The main spindle bearings in most drill presses stay up here. And then it runs down, um, the, the, the more socket is on a solid shaft that comes down and it's keyed. But the bearings stay up here. Now this drill press, more like uh, the quill on a bridge port, the bearings are close to the nose. They always stay close to the nose. The, this, uh, this drill press is uh, MT4. Nice that it matches the tailstock on this old axle sun over here. Share a lot of the tooling. Um, now, one of the things about, uh, now I was, <laughs> there's some old codgers around here and ha don't have anything better to do but talk about old stuff like this, but uh, one, one of my old friends was saying, you know, that would be an ideal machine to uh, run one of these, and that's a wall hopter head. And see, that's a five inch UPA five, and uh, it's actually a SIP, jig bore item and it, it, this is this is extra deluxe this thing's over ten thousand bucks if you had to, <laughs> if uh, if i didn't find it in the boeing surplus store back in the 80s so i found that pretty cheap um but i'm going to attach that that's a boring and facing head and uh, it'll automatically face you know you put a rod in this hole here this collar stays stationary and you see these pins you can see that right here I think these pins if you push one in like number 12 is pushed in there when this thing rotates around the head will feed one half of a thousand sideways you know, and you can bore with the things but they're real complicated you can adjust it here and fine fine there 
But I don't like to use it for straight boring because there's just too much gizmo stuff in there. I'd rather use a simple head. So I generally use this just for f facing and uh, cutting internal grooves and holes. So if I can adapt this thing to uh, the spindle here and make this uh, radial drill really pretty, uh, pretty awesome in a lot of ways. So i um, going to do a little bit of a walk around. I'll, I'll rotate this over a bit, kind of see what we're looking at. Um, that's the construction um, of the end of one of these, how the head slides. It's got this uh, taper here on the ways, and when you lock it, it just pulls the head up into that taper that it naturally do when you're drilling. So, that's it there. Yeah, this is a, a small one, nine inch column, three foot arm, I don't know, 10 feet tall. Okay. We'll, we'll do some more on this a little bit later. I got a whole bunch of things going, and uh, I'm glad you could tag along.